Uh, this piece is called Schizoid Woman, so you can understand why I'm two places in one. And this was written in 1979. In Lower East Side, she can dance the rumba and <coughs> eat Chinese food in Chinatown. With sushi as appetizer, Italian loony noodles as a main course, and have haagen for dessert. She can wear flowers in her hair, given by men in, at Halloween parties, and be a tourist in a new city. She can see friends and catch up with the latest news. Oh my God, you know, while waiting for my friend, I see an old, old friend. We haven't spoken for probably about 20 years. <laughs> so she's on her way to a Tai Chi class somewhere in Chinatown. And it's like, call me. Okay. <laughs> um, follow the moon cycles and return to earth in one piece. Open fires with anger and wear the latest fashions. And a red dress to be a harlot. And pigtails with blue jeans eschewing men in a line. She can drink once and dance the rock and roll like her partner. To those were the times when things were all fine. In all respect. She is every part of a woman who wants to do the boogaloo and find the answers in talking computers. Have women as companions and men as lovers to detain the lonelinesses. She'll rock in her sleep the motions of sea waves, find sea urchins that look like chrysanthemums and keep their dry petals in small jars. on Broadway and it's a little drama. I call this woman in on Broadway in 95th Street. Um, plus the little subtitle, Love Betrayals That Become Conspiracy Theories. A woman screams on Broadway carrying the empty baby's chair. The cop cars come in and people watching a black woman. She screams in anguish, she looking at the man, her face in contortions, twisted and screaming, pointing at him, I'm going to kill him. One man hollering, come here, get in the taxi. She stands, then bends, and opens her mouth in anguish. No sound is emitted, but she feels, oh, how it hurts to see that empty toddler's chair held in her hand. How it hurts, how it hurts to feel the needle in the womb and extract premature flesh. How I feel, I feel the tears roll round the curve of my bones and hollow is the womb. This is an earlier piece, too. And one of those things that we have, and I um, kind of, um, well, kind of upgraded it, but I call this the Paranoia Axiom Blues. And um, how much more minutes do I have? Do I have uh, 10? 10? Eight, 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 eight minutes. Uh, Paranoia Axiom Blues. I usually play the, perform this with uh, Bern Nix, who's a great guitar player with Ornette Coleman, but Ornette drove him nuts with, uh, oh, what was, harmonics. Uh, that's another story. There are more of them than there are of us. It's frightening and maddening to know there are more of them than there are of us. That's my political scene. They'll want to kill and rape us. Because somehow we don't deserve to live. Because they don't understand our strange ways. Because their selfish, spoiled, rich life is more important. Over there, there are more of us than there are of them. It's frightening and maddening to them to know the success of our revolution. They'll want to kill and rape us for the cause of their free enterprise. A foreign land devastated. No phallage to be grown. Man created death with famines of nature, preying on the strengths of unknown heroes. This 
face reminds us of what we are, our yellow tarnished skin that won't rub off, no matter how we speak, act, or love. There are more of them than there are of us. It's frightening and maddening to know there are more of them than there are of us. You got educated to no avail just to be <clears throat> indebted after you learned their history and none of yours. You know, it's their philosophy, their privileged world, their opportunity to be anything they want, but not us. Because we can repair shoes, only count numbers, be a cook, a janitor with some engineer's degree, sell clothes, wash windows till the land not owned and still remain as immigrants in their eyes. You might marry one of them and ask them lay love, treat it as an Asian flower, only to be tossed away just to gain something that you ain't, realizing white gotta be complete. And no turning back to your ancestral roots of your yellow tarnished skin that won't rub off. It's not the same here as it's over there. There are more of them than there are of us. It's frightening and maddening to know there are more of us over here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this piece called Serve the People. I mean, this is kind of more contemporary, more recent one. And, um, okay, Black Lives Matter. But I say skin colors matter. When you learn about the jikoks and jiksings, it comes from the Chinese homes that distinguishes the differences from FOBs, fresh off the boat, and ABCs, American-born Chinese. Since parents of my generations are FOBs, they criticize harshly and derogatively about the ABCs who are the youths in their hopes of a better life in America. Unfortunately, this stigmatism harms their siblings mentally that makes us overachievers. We spend time proving that we can uplift their miseries by translating from English to Chinese the social worker's application for food stamps, for privileged health care, for pharmaceutical prescriptions, and other adult necessities. We are the keepers of child mothers who are jukkoks and are rewards to be criticized as jiksings. Jiksings are described as empty bamboos. What goes in also leaves ya versus jukkoks, solid bamboos. What stays in, stays in. Thus, their Chinese traditions are solidly instilled with no adaptations in America, whereas my generation are assimilated and indoctrinated to the American culture. I learned early the differences of work, serving the people, integration and segregation, and skin colors matters. The domination of powers and who succeeds successes that ain't serving the people. If you heard the democratic debates, what gives, man? <laughs> That's scary. I mean, um, society making us mentally ill, Freudalism is sexism for the mentally ill, and Jungism is spiritual research. Um, okay. And when I look at the newly developed Oh, well, build, buildings, I read, oh well, okay? One minute. One more. One oh, minute. Oh my God. One minute. Oh, one minute. Okay, work in progress. <laughs> I mean, you might have heard this. Um, before Iraq War, before World Trade Center, before homelessness, before, before unemployment, before Tiananmen Square Massacre, before the Sandinista and Noriega War, before the Marcos dictatorship by being Ronald Reagan's puppet, before the Confucius Plaza demonstrations for workers' rights, before civil rights movement, before Hiroshima bomb, before the freedom of slavery, the Civil War, we are now there. There. That's end wars. <laughs> Thank you.